top of the morning. I have just landed in Brisbane. It is 6.42 in the morning and I am wrecked. I just got the red eye from Perth. Landed at like five and uh, had about an hour's sleep. So I'm off to drive to Byron Bay. Um, don't drive tired, don't do anything silly, but um, to Byron Bay to Keegan Smith's house. Um, I met Keegan through the Real Movement Project a few years ago and he was like one of my original mentors. So I'm gonna go touch base with him, hang out with him for the day and then I'm back to Brisbane tonight for uh, to hang out with my mate Tom Beretta from uh, Bodyweight Brisbane. So should be a pretty big day. Then I'm gonna hit the sack and die and then I'm gonna to fly to LA tomorrow for a 13 hour trip. So it's a big 24 hours in uh, Brisbane but I'm uh, pumped to take you guys for the journey. Keegan Smith. Where's uh, Real Movement going? Taking over the world. Uh, world leading personal trainer education, that's the, the goal, the dream. I don't really feel like there's anything out there that gives people a broad foundation of knowledge and accountability, helping people to embody the, you know, who they should be as trainers, as well as to understand the theoretical basis of a lot of stuff. So yeah, keen to work with guys who want to go to the top, you know, really reform the elite kind of uh, training business to help people who want to do that. That's the that's the plan. What's the most rewarding thing about you doing what you do? I, I love all pieces of the process. You know, like it, it's you could say it's seeing guys like you build your dream and you know live in the facilities and such. Like there's a lot of guys who've done that, and that is rewarding. But probably more selfish than that. Like ultimately, there is a personal journey here, and like by helping other people to live their dreams. Like it is a selfish thing. Like there is a thing of like, yeah, well, I, you know, I played a part in that or whatever. So I think it's just being able to, to train, to learn for a living, to travel for a living, like all that stuff is, is really what it's about. And I guess you kind of make people who have ambition come into your life. So you, if you're the, some of the people you spend most time with, etc., like being able to, to work with people who are passionate, who've got a dream, who want to work towards it, like, the business is set up to bring those people in and make those people kind of central in my life. And yeah, like we don't, you know, technically work together anymore, but you know, you, you still come and visit. There's lots of other guys who sort of do that. I'm going to catch up with Simon who has you know, one of the best facilities in Sydney. And yeah, that's probably, you know, selfishly, that's, that's the best thing that comes out of it is being able to spend great time with those great people, educate myself for a living, train for a living. Could cool. be worse. Just finishing up our sesh. Keegs has said we're gonna do 30 laps of sled pulls. That's bullshit, I've tapped out at 12. No more, no sleep for Tim, and I'm dead. We're gonna cook. So I guess uh, a lot of the reason that I wanted to make this trip was to kind of give myself some space from the business and work out where I wanted to take it long term. I guess I've got it to a level now where it's super sustainable and it's going really well, um, but it's like what's that next step for me? So um, I guess that's half the reason I'm heading to the States, um, seeking out some mentors that are higher and where I want to be, so I guess that's the key to taking things a little bit further with business and life. So some questions that Keegan sent me around uh, Proctor Gallagher stuff were, um, what's the long-term goal of Helix Gym? Am I able, am I willing? What's the worst that can happen? And what are some potential rewards? So I'm gonna do some journaling on the flight now coming up over the next 14 hours um, and just really map out where I want to take Helix Gym into the future. Um, it's a beast, it's a juggernaut, and it's it's been a hard slog to get it to where it is today, but I think taking it to that next level is gonna require some thought and some planning, um, rather than just going balls to the wall marketing and doing a good job. So, hope you guys enjoy this vlog. Um, it's been a short one compared to normal, but uh, like, share, comment, let us know what you think. Um, I will, start making some more stuff as soon as I get to the States. Um, so I land in about 14 hours from now and then that should be the morning time over there. So I'm looking forward to getting some uh, content out for you guys.